Hello, I'm Brian Hall, and in this video I'm going to show you the second release of my add-in to Autodesk Inventor 2010 and 2011. This add-in is a collection of rectangle drawing tools that you can utilize inside the sketch environment. Uh, Inventor itself comes with two rectangle drawing tools that you can use, uh, the two-point rectangle and the three-point rectangle. The one it's missing though is a center point rectangle and that's what uh, drove me to start writing this add-in. Uh, along the way though I realized I could add a couple of additional tools that some people might find useful and that's the horizontal midpoint and vertical midpoint rectangle. Um, in this release you're going to notice a couple of things that are different. Uh, the first most obvious one is this new button here. Uh, this button creates a center point rectangle in the exact same way that the last release uh, uh, created it, where it adds, it creates a rectangle around the origin and then constrains the origin to uh, the midpoint of two adjacent lines using horizontal and vertical constraints. That's just one technique. Um, the other, the problem with this technique, though, is when you dimension this, and then also uh, fully constrain it and then try and add a fillet or a chamfer you'll get some uh, unexpected results like that so to get around this you use a different technique for creating a center point rectangle and that technique is a center point rectangle with a diagonal line from two uh, going from two opposite corners um, and then you constrain the midpoint of that diagonal line uh, to the origin of the rectangle. This then gives you uh, more desirable results when you do a uh, fillet or chamfer after completely constraining it. Just like that. A uh, couple of other things that have uh, changed in this release. Um, there was a bug that was brought to my attention by uh, Maxim Udad. I hope I said that name right. Um, the last release when you create use one of my rectangle tools and you turn on the construction line toggle it would not create construction lines. Um, that was just something I overlooked inside the code and didn't think about but uh, I fixed that so now when you create any of the other rectangles and turn on or off the construction line you're, uh, you get what you expect to uh, put out there. Um, the other thing that I changed was the workflow for the rectangle itself. Um, Inventor has a, a, a functionality where when you start a command, that command stays active until you right click and hit done. So the first release I didn't do that um, I just would end the command after you did it once. I would end the rectangle after you created one of them. Uh, in this release I decided to sort of keep with the kind of standard inventor functionality so that people would, users would have something, uh, it, it would be more user friendly because they're expecting that command to stay active uh, like the rest of the inventor commands do. So that was a, a pretty big change that I made to the code itself. Um, other than that, there is uh, not much else that changed. If you have any questions, feel free to, to post on mcadforums.com where this add-in is located for download. And also, uh, you can there's a Autodesk discussion groups uh, has a, a topic about this add-in as well. You can uh, look be looking for the article that I'll be writing in the Creative Inventor magazine detailing the code. Um, once that magazine is released or the July-August issue is released, I'll release the source code along with it at that point in time. So be looking for that and uh, provide me with any feedback or questions you guys may have and I'll be seeing you on MCAD forums.